Hey everyone, you're watching Wisdom Shorts. During my school and college days, I was part of theater. In theater, lights play a very important role, especially spotlight. Audience will be primed to keep their attention on where it is desired to be by having certain areas of the stage or actors under a spotlight. Now, if you're an actor, you know that you have to put your best version, right facial expression, uh, etc. when you are under spotlight because everyone is watching you. Interestingly, it's not just on stage. Even in our real life, we experience invisible spotlights. You know, as Shakespeare says, all the world is a stage and all the men and women merely actors. So in social psychology, this is called the spotlight effect. The spotlight effect refers to the tendency to think that more people notice something about you than they actually do. We tend to think there is a spotlight on us, especially when we are in public, you know, that we think that others are watching us. So the term spotlight effect was coined by you know, Thomas Gilovich. He did a very interesting exper experiment in Cornell University. He took a group of students and randomly selected one person from each group and asked them to come to the class late wearing some weird t-shirts you know with pictures of Bob Marley or you know some pictures like that. The seating in the classroom was in such a way that everyone was facing the door. So basically when you enter everyone will notice you. So you all can relate to this right you know, late comers to the class. So he then singled out those latecomers who wore those weird t-shirts and asked them how many students in your class will remember you coming late and how many of them do you think that will remember your t-shirt? They said you know, minimum 50% of the class would be able to recall. They were absolutely sure that a large chunk of people noticed them. So what the researchers found was it is interesting. They asked the class later and they found that only 10% of the class were able to recall the t-shirt. Five times less than what the latecomers thought. 5x less. So we humans overestimate how much others care about our negatives and also positive actions. We think that the spotlight is on us. Everyone is thinking about us, judging us. The truth is nobody cares. You know, everybody is in their own world. A lot of people put on a fake personality, a fake behavior when they are in social situations you know, to be liked, to be accepted by people. You know, one classic example is during weddings. Okay, this is a pre-COVID weddings. Okay, so you will have this videographer and his assistant with a light and for some reason they want to capture all the wedding attendees. They will not spare you even in the dining hall. You know, you will be eating like this and suddenly you know, the cameraman comes. You know, the whole behavior will change. You know, you just watch this funny clip. So people are not natural when they realize that others are observing them because we don't want others to look down on us we don't want others to dislike us but the truth is large majority of people they don't pay attention to our flaws you know, they don't care and it's like when you have a pimple on your face a gray hair or a stain on your shirt you think that everybody will notice that right but hardly people do most people are stuck in their own heads and thinking about themselves not you so the spotlight effect occurs for different reasons it's because each of us views our self as the center of our own universe and while this may be true for us we tend to forget that we are not the center of everyone else's universe now for people with social anxiety you know, the spotlight effect can be much worse to the point they will not be comfortable being around people so spotlight effect comes from being overly self-conscious. If even, even in your workplace, if you observe during meetings, etc., a lot of self-conscious folks, they don't open their mouth and contribute during discussions. You know, because of the spotlight effect. They, they always worry about what other people think. 
lot of people are scared of public speaking due to the same reason what will others think what if i make a fool of myself now i give this advice to a lot of people who are scared of public speaking so i used to tell them please shift your spotlight from you to others and instead of thinking what others are thinking about you start thinking of what can you give to others think about others so put the spotlight on them it's a big shift so being aware of this concept can help us to lessen our nervousness in social situations even you know just ask yourself out of thousands of thoughts you have every day what percentage of your thoughts are about others it'll be less than 10 percentage 90 percent of our thoughts are about ourselves same with other people you now they are thinking about themselves not you so if you can get to the point that you realize that nobody is really paying that kind of attention to you then you will stop worrying so much about it it'll reduce a huge ego weight in your head and you will feel light so don't worry about what others are thinking about you be aware of what you are thinking of yourself thank you so much for watching stay strong stay safe